Behind me is my closet of shame. <laughs> and somewhere in this temple of my failures is a miniature that I want to paint, but I can't find it. Also in here are a bunch of untold stories, videos that I started and never finished, videos that I wanted to do and never did, gifts that were given to me, experiences that I had. And so what I figured today we do is look for the model that I want to paint, but also at the same time clean my closet and also tell all those untold stories. That's right, I'm cleaning my closet and making a video about it. I'm sorry. She's this is my press version of Rain in Hell, the game system made by Adam and Vince that is miniature agnostic. And I haven't yet cracked it open, but I plan to. I have miniatures that I have prepared for a Rain in Hell squad. When Ben Cantrick came over to be on John and I's podcast and another video project that I haven't yet announced, he brought with him some goodies. The bust version of his Crystal Brush 2019 diorama entry, Daddy Issues. Ben also brought a bust copy of Pharaoh's Curse, his Crystal Brush 2018 entry that won third place in Best in Show. I don't think you can get this bust anymore. There was a limited number of releases. A Russian company named 2O Toys reached out to me to paint one of their 75 millimeter not Primarchs, in my case, not Lehman Russ. But while I was painting the model, the campaign got canned, so I ended up not ever finishing the paint job. But I deleted the footage. Still out of the model though. When I visited Vince's house with John and Sam for TendyCon, Vince gave me a bunch of really cool old pewter models, along with a lot of really awesome terrain bits. Sam gave me one of his mugs. And I remember feeling a little bit bad that I didn't bring any miniatures for anyone else. However, I reasoned that it was okay because I was the one that had to 3D design the plinth and also prints and clean and bring those along for everyone else. In an attempt to explore all corners of this hobby, I bought a used Porsche model kit off eBay that was actually missing a tire. My idea was to create a snow diorama where the car had crashed into one of the road railings and lost its tire. It's supposed to be a gift for my dad, who is a big fan of Porsches. When I began the fairly rigorous process of cleaning the model kit and preparing it for painting, it was pretty clear that I wasn't going to finish the video in a week, so I had to stop and pivot for an easier subject. But this kit is still ready for me whenever I come back. Check out these super ancient space marines. This is a forest dragon, specifically for Neestra and Arahan. My mom bought this for me because there was a competition at a local games workshop that I was going to when I was 10 or 12. And I started to paint it, but I never finished it. I remember being super ecstatic at the time about how I was able to get these blends. Someday I still want to paint it and show my mom that I didn't waste her money. While the basement was just entirely torn apart, I decided to do even more cleaning. I took a lot of miniatures out of my cabinet that were assembled but not painted for previous sponsorships. I grabbed board games and miniatures that I had just strewn about the house, and I put it all in one spot. There are a lot of things that I want to eventually sell or give away. My plan is to do like an 8 or 10 hour live stream at some point and do one big giveaway every single hour of that live stream, so stay tuned for that. Before moving on in this amazing closet cleaning video, let's hear a brief word from Shill Scott about the Black Friday deals in a hopefully cleaner studio. Black Friday! Looks like Responsible Scott got his shit together and cleaned everything up. Just kidding, all the shit's down here on the floor. He's a fraud. This year on Black Friday, we have two new items on the web store and you've been seeing them throughout this video. The cutting mat has made a heroic comeback and it's better than before. It's A2 size or approximately 18 by 24 inches, three millimeter thick, double sided with a metric grid on one side and an imperial grid on the other, and it's self healing. Currently my stock is floating somewhere in the Pacific, so if your order contains a cutting mat, it might not arrive in time for Christmas. 
The other new item is a glorious black and red tie-dye hoodie with a bat head on the front and an amazing back piece. When buying a copy of The Duchess, My Vampire Miniature, and the digital course that teaches you how to paint the mini, you save 15 bucks. Apart from the new items and The Duchess, the rest of the web store is 15% off. No coupons needed. So grab a limited edition poster, a cool t-shirt, enamel pin, or other items. International shipping will be cheaper than it is normally from now until Monday. While supplies last, each order will get a nifty letterpress printed Miniac sticker. Unrelated to Black Friday, I launched the Notify Me page for my Kickstarter. So if you want to be notified when my campaign launches early next year, check out the link in the description. The campaign will include some new Wood Elf miniatures that I am very proud of and a lot of other surprises. All right, enough shilling. Back to cleaning my closet. This video is chores and ads, Jesus Christ. When Brett visited Minnesota and met with me and John and also was on the podcast, he brought some goodies. When he was here, we filmed some collaboration type footage just on the off chance that in the future we were going to collaborate. And our idea was that he would get in my closet and pretend to be in there. We did like five takes of it just to get it right, but it was funny because he was in my closet for like at least five minutes. This bust is super special to me because I received it while I was doing a 24 hour live stream for charity a long time ago. And it was the last stream that I was gonna do on Twitch for a very long time. And every hour or two hours during the stream, my viewers and also John had planned some really awesome gifts for me. And this was one of them. And it really meant a lot to me. And I'm excited to paint it at some point. Look at this ancient set of Warhammer Fantasy spell effects or wound counters or a lot of things apparently it's from 2006. This is Cypher, who I started to paint but never finished. I was painting him at the same time that I was painting a Dark Angels Heavy Metal Marines episode. Because I had only one camera at the time, my plan was to paint the models at the same steps. So when I base coated the Dark Angel, I would base coat Cypher. And I'd record both minis at the same time. Because whenever I changed position with the camera, it was kind of inconvenient. So I was trying to be more efficient with my time. Somewhere during the base coating process, clearly, I realized that it was taking way too long to paint two miniatures to an heavy metal standard, so I just didn't paint Cypher and then finish the Dark Angel. These 40K models are part of a really special video that I'm working on with a group of my local friends where I convert a bunch of normal people, aka non-miniature painters, into miniature painters by going through kind of the whole experience of the hobby of picking out a kill team, painting it up, and playing the game. We're pretty close to the stage where we actually play the game, so the video will be done and ready to release sometime soon. But knowing me, probably not soon. <laughs> if you guys remember, the whole point of me tearing apart my entire closet was to find a certain miniature to paint. Ultimately, I never ended up finding that miniature, so I went and bought a similar one from a local friend of mine. Part of me feels like I wasted my time because I didn't end up finding the model that I wanted and spent very little money to get one that replaced it. But now my closet is super organized and there's extra space for other things that could go inside of there. I can find things more easily. Working area is just better organized. So I guess it wasn't a waste of time after all. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you like the channel and you wanna support it, there are many ways to do it, all linked down in the description. If you like this specific video and you wanna see a similar one, consider checking out the backlog off between me and ML. Subscribe or die! And most importantly, don't forget to hate my minis!